receive our email, but the sustainable unit that is saying that there is a store uh, near to the Starbucks and have the have the discount on borrowing our tablets to the Starbucks. So okay. have So the, you guys can just come over yes. here and borrow a tumbler, go to Starbucks, you got a $3 discount for bringing your own tumbler. And you and you can take the tumbler for up to three hours. All you have to do is scan your student ID or staff ID. So this way we have all the details. We know who's taking the tumblers. And you can, you can it's your wish. You are gonna take the tumbler for up to three hours. We, we chose three hours because the longest class in USD is around two hours, 15 minutes. That's the <laughs> longest time, which anyone will take the tumbler for. And if you want, you can be sly and just save money. You can just go drink your, have your drink and give the tumbler back immediately to us. We have classes for three hours at Hong Kong, some classes. Okay, so accordingly you can modify the plan to up to four hours, or more in case the classes are longer. And if you do not return, return it within three hours, you will be charged a fine of $5 per hour, and and uh, the maximum fine is $20 per day because our timings will be from 8.50 a.m. to 5 p.m. So like, so I would say, suppose you take it at, at uh, 9 to 12, so you still have five hours left in the day, and that would come to around twenty-five dollars. But we like just to make it convenient, twenty dollars is the max amount, and it would be hundred dollars for five days or more, and hundred dollars is the max fine amount because that's the amount of money you need to buy on the tumbler. So we don't <laughs> care if you just keep it with you after that, and yeah. So suppose people don't turn up, then how do we make sure we get the money from them? Simple, just like the library when they scan it. If you don't pay. It gets charged to the system, so at the end of the semester, you will be forced to pay. So in this way, we know the money will ultimately come to us. And in, on, a, on a small basis, like suppose you came one hour late to give it to us, we just accept cash because it's convenient. So five dollars, ten dollars, depending how much time it takes. And so in the beginning, we'll only start with size tall tumblers because we'll get the, these tumblers for free from sustainability unit since we have a stock of around twenty tumblers in the office. So at least size stall tumblers will be kept at a stall. You can just come and borrow it. And also, in order to make it more convenient for you guys, we'll send you an email reminder two hours after you borrow it, just to remind you to return it to us. And we'll obviously have an email since you'll scan your IDs here. And in the beginning, it will, the stall will only be handled by volunteers like me and other members of the sustainability unit. <laughs> and so, so in this case, we don't have to worry about the cost of hiring people. But once we start generating money through this, we could actually hire hire people and give them part-time jobs because many students want part-time jobs. But especially international students don't get enough part-time jobs since they can't speak Cantonese. So this will also help more students. And yeah, so as I said, our operation time will be 8.50 a.m. to 5 p.m. because uh, the stuff, the, the glasses have to be stored back in sustainability office, which opens at 8.45 and shuts at 5.30. So it has to be in this time window. And suppose somebody forgets to borrow at the end of the day, don't worry, like suppose somebody borrowed it at 4 p.m. and they return it next day at, at 10 a.m. So technically they've only been like for two hours, so still within the time limit, so we won't be too harsh on them and we won't find them. But otherwise, suppose you borrowed in the morning and you give it next morning, you'll be charged $20. And now some people will think, wait, doesn't this cause problems for Starbucks? But no, I don't think so, because the demand for Starbucks coffee is price elastic, so the $3 discount will actually increase help them a lot more, since way more people will come now without having the hassle of bringing their own tumbler. So it was more convenient for students because one of the main reasons when we spoke to students today was that carrying a tumbler is too inconvenient due to many 